Why Same-Sex Marriage is Wrong by Nick Brown. The argument, premise one, marriage is the union of one man and one, one woman in a permanent, faithful, and fruitful union. Premise two, same-sex marriage is between people of the same gender and cannot reproduce children. Therefore, same-sex marriage is fundamentally wrong. Introduction. In the last 20 years, the definition of marriage has drastically changed. The traditional de definition is as follows. The union of one man and one woman in a permanent, faithful, and fruitful union. This states, the, the should be obvious point that marriage should be between a man and a woman. The modern day definition of marriage chooses to ignore both of these points. Nowadays, all that is needed is two people who love each other. While, marriage, while married couples obviously need to love each other, there are many fallacies to this definition. And it misses the meaning of marriage. In, re in recent years, the Supreme Court has ruled that same-sex marriage is legal. And there are many is issues of this. But to fully understand this, this is wrong. We must see the view of the church in this issue. If you want to see uh, direct quotes from the catechism, you can find the direct quotes on paragraph 2357, paragraph 2358, and two th paragraph 2000. 359. The Church's View on Homosexuality The Church obviously believes that homosexual actions are wrong, but the Church understands that the inclination of homosexuality is disorder. The Catechism states that homosexual persons are constituted to a trial due to this. When talking about this issue, we must understand that we need to go at it with respect and compassion, the way that Jesus would. There are they are still created in the image of God and deserve respect as much as we do. In the eyes of the church, being homosexual itself is not a sin. It's a disorder. And we must all pray for everyone who is homosexual. The sin comes in when homosexual homosexuality is acted upon, or when it is deliberately thought of in an unholy way. This should never be allowed in, under any circumstances, and it goes against the moral and biological natural laws. The scriptures view on homosexuality. If you want to see references to the Bible, look at Leviticus chapter 18 verse 22, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9. What does it all mean though? Both of these passages support the fact that being homosexual, homosexual in itself is not wrong but it is the action of homosexuality that is sinful. Now that the Bible and the church's view on homosexuality is more clear, it will be easier to see why same-sex marriage is wrong. Problems with the same-sex marriage, fruitfulness. Their tr traditional definition says, the union of one man and one woman in a permanent, faithful, and fruitful union. While same-sex marriage is obviously against the union of one man and one woman part, it also contradicts the fruitfulness marriage is supposed to have. It is an obvious fact that it is impossible to procreate through homosexual actions. There is absolutely no possibility of new life, which goes directly against the traditional definition and God says, of God says marriage should be. No law or legal decision can change this fact that homosexual couples cannot have offspring. Men and women complement each other on an emotional level that homosexual couples cannot, no matter how much they imitate the connection. Problems with same-sex marriage, true love. After, view, after reviewing the view of marriage in the last slide, or the ability to have fruitful sex, I will not, I will not look at the other side of it. The fact that same-sex couples cannot have true offspring an ever longing love, marriage, and the con conjugal, conjugal act show the true love between men and women. Same sex couples cannot show this true love for obvious reasons. Same sex couples ignore the conjugal view and focus on the fact that if they truly love each other, they should be able to marry. We see, see that it is impossible for same sex couples to really show this true love. Same sex couples do not fall into the definition of marriage because they go by a different definition. And because we cannot change what God put forth, they cannot do this. 
problems with same-sex marriage. Regardless of the Supreme Court, God is the true author of marriage. Marriage is a sign of a covenant between God and his people, between Christ and his bride. Same-sex marriage put forth this message because they are the same and not different. Different genders, men and women, symbolize the difference between God and man, humankind. And homosexuality cannot convey this because it does not represent that reality. Problems with same-sex marriage. Same-sex marriage also goes against the value of chastity. As you were only supposed to engage in sexual actions with your law lawfully wedded spouse, and same-sex married and a same-sex married couple is not really married in the church's eyes. This is unchaste and is considered adultery. Conclusion. In conclusion, same-sex marriage is obviously wrong, but we still must go at the problem with compassion. If this is gone with harsh words and no room for discussion, then there will be no change. It is still true, though, that same-sex unions are not marriage and can never replace it. Regardless of a court, regardless of a court ruling or what any group says, God is a true creator of marriage, and it is still always stay, and it, and it still will always stay that way. Marriage is the union of one man and one woman in a permanent, faithful, and fruitful union. Same-sex marriage is between people of the same gender and cannot produce children. Therefore, same-sex marriage is fundamentally wrong.